Hello friends, welcome back to online math. So we have this uh, Olympic uh, problem right here to solve. Okay, so what we have is x power 3 minus y power 3 is equal to 99. So what are the values of x and y that will satisfy this equation? Okay, it just needs to remember one of the algebraic identities, which of course says that uh, a power 3 uh, minus b power 3 this is actually going to be giving you a uh, minus b and then multiply by a squared plus a b and of course plus b squared this is the difference of two cubes okay so in this case what we have is x so we are just going to be expanding it in this form and if we do that we are going to be having that this is x minus y okay and then multiply by x squared plus xy and then of course plus y power 2 and then it's equal to 91 we've done expanding the left hand side so we still find a way to expand this right hand side and because 99 we have right here is a prime number we can only write it as a product of um, itself and then one okay so what we are going to be having is x minus y multiplied by x squared plus x y plus y squared is equal to one multiplied by 91 okay and obviously you can see that this term in this bracket is bigger than the first the terms in the first bracket so that if we compare we can have that x minus y here on the first bracket is equal to one and then the second term okay we can call this equation one and then the second term x squared plus x y plus y squared will be equal to 91 and of course this we can also call as equation two okay so what we'll do is from equation one we're actually going to be making uh, x the subject okay so from equation one we can have that this x here is equal to, if we push y to the right hand side it's actually going to be equal to y plus one okay so we can go ahead to substitute this value here if you call this equation 3 so we actually put equation 3 in equation 2 and if we do that whatever we see x we actually re uh, replace it with y uh, plus 1 okay so doing that what we have he here uh, now becomes y plus 1 okay all raised to power 2 plus y plus 1 and then multiply by y plus y squared is equal to 91. So we can go ahead to multiply it. So to multiply this, y times y is y squared plus 2 times y times 1 will be 2y plus 1 times 1 will be 1. And then of course plus y times y will be y squared plus y times 1 will be y. And then of course plus y squared is equal to 91 okay simplifying this is y squared y squared y squared so summing all of them you have 3 y squared and then 2y plus y here will also give us 3y uh, plus 1 over here is equal to 90 so that what we now have is 3y squared plus 3y is equal to 91 minus 1 here will be which will be equal to 90 so we can actually go ahead to uh, divide through by 3 since 3 I can divide through so that what we're going to be having is uh, y squared plus y okay is equal to 30 this is cool at this point and then we can subtract 30 from both sides and if we do that we have y squared plus y minus 30 is equal to zero okay so uh, i can actually write this 30 right here as i can write it as 5 squared and then uh, plus 5 
okay which is basically 25 plus 5 and of course it's all equal to zero so if I, if I open this bracket I'm gonna be having y squared plus y minus 5 squared minus 5 is equal to zero so bringing like terms together I have y squared minus 5 squared okay plus y minus 5 is equal to zero okay so you can see this is the uh, difference of two squares and if, if you can remember a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and then multiply by a minus b so using this expansion here what i'm going to be having here is y plus 5 multiplied by y minus 5 okay and then plus the same what we have right here that is y minus 5 okay so let me put this in bracket and of course is equal to zero so obviously you can see we've got some common terms right here so y minus 5 is common i can factorize that out y minus 5 okay so that if i factorize it out what i have left on this side is y plus 5 and then i have one over here is equal to zero okay so that we now have that y minus 5 and then multiply by if you add 5 to 1 here you're gonna be having 6 is equal to 0 so we now have the uh, 0 product right here so which of course implies that here y is, is equal to 5 or y is equal to negative 6 okay so this is what we have uh, we've gotten the values of y uh, but then of course from equation 3 x is equal to y plus 1 so from here uh, we can actually get what x is okay so when y is equal to 5 you can we see here that our x is actually going to be equal to 5 uh, plus 1 okay so we will just put the value of x the value of y right here which will be 5 and then plus 1 and this is equal to 6 okay and then when y is equal to minus 6 as it is over here our x is actually going to be equal to minus 6 plus 1 which is equal to negative five okay so putting all of the solutions together right here so x comma y is not going to be equal to so the first one we've got right here is six comma five okay or the second one will be equal to minus five comma minus six so this is going to be the uh, solution set for this question and then you want to find out whether this will satisfy the problem we just solved so this is s cube minus y cube is equal to 91 okay so we want to find out whether that is true so let's check the first one okay when x is equal to 6 and then y equal to 5 so we now have 6 cube minus 5 cube would that be equal to 91 okay so 6 cube is actually 216 and then 5 cube is 125 and obviously if you subtract this is equal to 91 so the first one goes and then for the second terms which when x is equal to negative 5 and then y is equal to negative 6 what are we going to be having so we have negative 5 uh, power 3 a minus negative 6 raised to power 3 would this be equal to 91 okay so this is actually going to give you negative 1 2 5 okay minus so this will still give you negative 2 1 6 okay so would this be equal to 91 and obviously this is minus 1 2 5 when this minus multiplied by minus here is plus 2 1 6 okay and obviously if you subtract this this is going to be equal to 91 so obviously the two terms 
the solution set which we've caught uh, do satisfy the problem we just solved so that is basically how you solve this kind of problem if you've got any value in this video do not forget to like our videos subscribe to our channel and then turn on the notification icon so that if we release new content you actually get to know about it and of course i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye